Hey y'all, Locks and Load here. Hey guys, on this video, I'm gonna go over how to set up your AR-15 for home defense. This quick is gonna be a quick video, guys. You don't need to do a lot for home defense. You don't need all the crazy D balls. You don't need MVGs. You don't need all that crazy stuff. This is basically all you really need for home defense. So let's get right into it. First, you, a decent sling. I prefer a padded sling because you don't really know how long you'll be carrying this rifle. You know, if you've taken it to classes, so sitting there for six hours with a non-padded sling really starts to cut into your, uh, your shoulder and your neck area. And then with the sling, what it does is allow me to operate my rifle, you know, do everything I need to do, and then if I need to, throw it down to the side and transition to my sidearm if I need to and allows me to come back and be able to have my rifle right here on my body at all times or if I just need to throw it down this side I don't have to completely drop my rifle to the ground or set it against the wall then go for my firearm, my sec uh, secondary uh, firearm I can just simply that fast and it works all right, next is the light. It doesn't have to be a thousand lumens. This is like 320 lumens, and that is enough. Again, home defense. So the furthest I am possibly shooting for a home defense situation, maybe 50 yards, maybe. So you do not need, you know, a 600, 800, thousand lumen light to not light up the whole neighborhood, you know just to see down your hallway, or just to clear out your backyard, front yard. So 321 20 lumen light is real good. Uh, again, you don't need the top tier big name uh, uh, flashlight. But I mean, if you're gonna be doing that kind of hardcore training, then probably yes, you probably need like a Surefire or Streamlight. This is just some X-Fire I got off Amazon. It's 30, $40 light solid aluminum housing so it's got some nice sturdy weight to it and you know it's water resistant and all that good stuff so for home defense I feel like this light is good enough for home defense and then it comes with a pressure uh, switch that I put up here on the top rail so I can manipulate it with either hand if I need to and that is honestly I say one of the key aspects of a home defense rifle even if you have a shotgun or a pistol having a light so you can clearly identify your target before you shoot is very is essential in home defense because you don't want to just guess at a figure and shoot it and it turns out to be a family member or a friend or somebody you didn't want to shoot because it's not good so a light, make sure you have a nice decent light that's going to stay on your rifle. It's not going to fall off after you fire like six rounds because it's a cheap airsoft light, not rated for full power rifle ammunition. So make sure you get a decent light for a rifle, not airsoft. Next, this is probably one of the, one of the bigger things, is an optic. Whether it be a red dot, uh, a holographic optic, or even just backup sights. Make sure you get some kind of aiming device for your rifle. I prefer this SIG Romeo red dot. It allows me to get a quick target acquisition when I bring the rifle up. So I just put the dot on the target and I just fire. For the backup sights, again, will suffice for home defense you know soldiers over there in Vietnam had nothing but iron sights and they did fine so you don't need a red dot if you can't afford one and please guys I, I get this a lot stop buying those 30 40 50 dollar red dots those things they're not good for rifles Yes, I know you might take it to the range and it might work for those, but for a durable optic, 
me, in my honest opinion, I don't want to spend less than $120 for a reliable optic. And you get a decent name. Sig Sawyer, Hollow Sun, Primary Arms, Vortex. You don't have to spend aim point you'll take money for a good decent red dot. Got this for $129. And it works amazingly fine. And that's honestly all you really need for a home defense rifle setup. I'm not really getting into bolt carrier groups or barrel types because again guys, this is home defense. We're not going out there shooting six, seven hundred rounds in a firefight. Most home engagements, you no know, one to five rounds or so. So you don't need a super expensive rifle to be adequately armed for home defense. So guys, that's the video. Again, really quick. You don't need to be doing yes, I know there's YouTubers with all the top tier, you know, they got BCM this, Daniel Defense that, Aimpoint this. I know I understand that. But guys, there are still plenty of good options out there that are that will work for you and will be reliable. So check those out. So anyway, guys, that's the video. If you got any uh, questions or comments, please put them in the box below. I try to answer as many as I can. Uh, if you agree or disagree, please put it in the box below. Again, I want to learn. No, I'm only 25, 20, 26, March 1st, so six more days. Well, after no, no. Five more days. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, again, guys, please put it in the box below. Share the video, comment, like, subscribe, all that. Also, if you like the shirt, I'll put the link down in the description below if you want to get the shirt. I think this shit is bomb. I'm not going to lie. So again, guys, please be safe. Lock and